Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Keepling. Welcome back. Uh, today is the next day and uh, something arrived in the mail. Guess what? No, guys, it is not my CPU cooler. As a matter of fact, it was my PC case. My PC case is here and I'm happy that it's here because, because I have to show you guys a lot of stuff that it has. So I'm going to put this all to the side because I won't be needing them until my CPU cooler. This, my people, this is the CPU case. CPU case? No. This is the PC case. Oh boy, my uh, Swiss knife over here. This might hurt me, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Uh, how do I start this? Okay. Drop it over there. Let's look at the case a little closer. So here you have the, uh, oh, I can get some reflection. This is the NZXT S340 designed by Razer. This is not the uh, S340 Elite. S340 Elite is a little better, but this is the Razer version because you guys know how much I love Razer. Don't you? Do, right? Oh, great. Now I have, for some reason, I feel like this is not recording. It is recording, never mind. The reflection on my uh, current CPU, uh, my PC is great. I will show you the back or the side of the case. This is the side. You guys are going to have to see this. The tape is kind of blocking the view, but I'll, I'll try to do something else later on. And on this side, you guys can see the actual, um, the side view of the case like this down here and you have the actual logo and some writings down here that's too small for you guys to see. And on the back, you have the actual case, some specifications, some cool uh, things that you can do. And uh, that's, that's just that's about it. And I'm not actually gonna take the case out because uh, that's part of the build, if you guys did not know that. Here we are, guys, we got the case out. If I pull this open, that goes in there. I pull this open, that goes in there. There's some bubble wrap, which is great for the, uh, the, uh, the, the wrapping and all that. I have some sort of paper here that shows my uh, payment. I will keep this just in case. I'll put this over here so that I can refer to it when I need to. Now, um, there should be a manual for this, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. It might be inside the case. Here it is. Two Razer stickers, like any Razer product. I'm not surprised. And there is the L LED electronic system. And I think the manual is also inside here. Or not, if not inside the actual case. So let's take a good look at this case, dudes. Oh my, it is so beautiful. This is a full metal case as well, which means that it's full metal. It's not fragile and it's not prone to any fingerprints because it's matte black. All of the case, well, most of the case. Now guys, I am not gonna take off all of these plastics until I'm done with the actual full build. So that's something you guys need to know because I, I love taking off plastics, but I'm at the same time very, very, very concerned that something's gonna happen. Oh, and this plastic is something that I really wanna take off. I'm so tempted to take it off right now. But um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to show you guys what's inside. This, guys, is the power button. Okay, I think you can see the power button here. I need to hold this this way. Yep, I'm holding it tight. My microphone is getting hurt. Don't go inside microphone, my dear. Oh boy. Um, this is basically it. I'm not going to open the case, mainly because I need to wait for my CPU cooler, then I can actually install the thing. But until then, you guys are going to have to wait. So, uh, yeah, well, you guys don't have to wait in because it's, it's going to happen just a matter of seconds. But for me, it's going to take some time for the actual CPU cooler to arrive. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. And uh, you, you stay here, dude. You, you stay here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay guys. guys, so I, so thought, I thought for a little, little while, while I decided that I want to show you what's inside. inside. 
because I realized that once I start putting the things together, I won't really have the chance to do so. So I will get around showing you this right now. I'm going to start with the front panel. I'm going to open these thumb screws. And they are pretty tight, I'll, I'll tell you that. And Don't expect, don't like it when uh, thumb screws are tight. And these ones really are tight. Yeah, they should just come off if I should be able to push them. Oh boy. What's wrong with this screw? Oh, this one's forced to be inside. It's not allowed to come out. Okay, let me put this to the side. Uh, here, along with one of the thumb screws. So, this is what we have inside. This over here is the cable management area. So behind this, you have a whole section where you can actually uh, do for your cable management, you can hide your stuff. I'm sorry, by the way, if you guys can't see my face and that's on purpose because you guys can see me, okay? So it's, 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 a, it's supposed to compensate. This is only if you wanna see what's inside and very clearly what's inside. So I'll, I'll get a little closer to you guys. I'll show you here what we have. Um, here is the ATX supported or micro ATX supported motherboard slot. And um, over here we have a uh, 280 millimeter radiator support. So you can put your uh, water cooling or any type of uh, liquid cooling over here. The radiator goes over here. And uh, let me show you something cool here is the front panel is actually pretty hard to take off. And I'll tell you that it's hard. So if you have this case or just the S340 or the S340 Elite, it might feel like it's gonna break, but it's not. It's, it's actually very hard to take out. <sighs> I feel like I'm doing it wrong, but you're actually doing it right, but I can't. Yo, there you go. Jesus Christ, that took so much power. I was trying to be so soft as well. Okay, so this is connected to the light. Now, for now, I'm gonna keep it open. This is the green LED. It says here, right here, it's connected through and under over there. I'll show you guys this, don't worry. Um, so this is how it is. This is a full panel. And this over here, guys, is a magnetic filter. It's magnetic. This here is magnetic, which is so cool. It literally just slides over here, guys. And it's, it's magnetic. Just look at that, that's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna put this down here for now and I'm gonna take the magnetic filter off and you guys can see what's inside here. You can literally see, see through the whole damn thing. You can see that there's one fan up here and there's another fan here. Okay, for the sake of this, I'm gonna disconnect this so you guys can see a little closer in the actual thing. Um, this is basically the inside. Over here, you got two SSD slots. I might wanna get a little closer because you guys can't see. Two SSD slots over here, guys. One and two. I'm sorry the lighting is terrible, but it can't get any better than this. The case itself is black, so I don't think you guys can see this like, clearly. Um, but other than that, let's go back to the side. You have here the GPU support as well as all the network adapters or any type of uh, game capture card. You can put these over here. These are just simple thumb screws that you have to take off. Here you have another fan. So here we have the full case stripped to its parts. This is awesome because you can access your um, CPU from here. You can put your CPU mounting uh, thing on the back. I don't know what it's actually called, the mounting thingy. Um, if you're using it, that's of course if the, C if the motherboard is there. I haven't put my motherboard yet because I haven't gotten my CPU cooler. Here we have some cables. This is connecting to the USB 3.0 as well as USB, USB 2.0, the power on cable, the uh, headphone jack and the um, headphone, uh, headphone jack and the headphone and the microphone jack. It took me so long to say that. And then I'm gonna quickly come on, put the power supply inside here and check if there is any static electricity or not. So uh, let's do that. Okay, this, I'm not sure, these are some accessories. 
I think provided by NZXT or it's the manual. Yes, it is the user manual as well as some zip ties and some screws. Very nice of you, NZXT. Very useful. Uh, let me just take a quick look at it. They give you a lot of these extra bags just in case you need them. An extra few thumb screws, that's great. I'm gonna put these back because uh, why not? And honestly, I don't think we'll be needing the zip ties because the default NZXT's cable management is just as good and I don't think I'll be needing to add any extra uh, zip ties for this. If you guys look at my current uh, PC, which I will show later on, it's disgusting in terms of cable management. It's disgusting to look at. And we will get that fixed, don't worry. I'll put this back into the box right now because honestly, we won't be needing this. I'm just showing you guys what we have. And uh, the user manual, which I will keep outside here because it will be very beneficial for us when we're doing the build because then again, this is my first PC build. Okay, here we have the connectors over here. And here we have the, um, the fans and the, uh, where is it? This might be the Mo Molex I was talking about before. Yeah, it is, it's connecting to the fans. So, okay, that's the fan connector. And this is the uh, USB 3, USB 3 over here, USB 3, and as well as you got, you got your uh, three, four pin. Oh no, this is the seven pin connector. Five, or no, that's the nine pin, Never mind. And you got the normal two pins. So, and the LEDs, the really small ones that go into your chip. This is basically it, guys. There's nothing much else other than your your power supply slot, which is down here. You can, of course, take off your uh, thing here. You take it off, and then you have your um, hard drive mounts. Actually, this case has three SSD slots plus three... Um, uh, what do you call it? hard disks? So you can put one here and one there, and you can fit one under down here for the hard disks. And you can also fit one SSD over here at the top, at the bottom. Sorry. So there's one thing that I have to check before I do anything because I'm gonna have to first connect the power supply into the mother uh, into the case to check if it has any static. Because if it does, then I can't make I can't do the build anymore. Because if it does have static electricity, then the whole case, the whole PC will just stop working. Because I don't want this to go wrong. My dad told me to do that first. He's very good at making PC. Okay guys, we're back. And uh, I finally have my power supply down here. This is the screwdriver that checks for static electricity. Like I said, it's not because I want to put the power supply in the case first. It's because I have to. Because if I don't, then I will never know if it works and I'll just do everything where the chances are pretty high where it doesn't work. So I don't want to take any chances. I just want to go for it. I just want to check if it works or not. Okay, this, oh boy, no, don't want to do that. This can go over down here for a while. I won't be needing you. As a matter of fact, this is what I'll be needing. This is it, guys. Now, I have purposely zoomed in that, uh, that camera so you guys can see this a little clearer. It's awesome, isn't it? All right, let's get, le let's get a little closer. Can we get this over there just like that? And uh, get this open. Okay, now put this to the side. Don't want to cut myself in an awesome day like today. Um, manual. Would I be needing the manual? Probably. This is a warranty guide. Won't be needing the warranty guide, but I'll be needing the manual. Manual, you stay here with me. I'm putting all my manuals together because you'll never know when you'll be needing them. And I will refer to it pretty often. Um, here we have the actual power supply. This is a three pin connector, which my dad did warn me about. I thought it was two pin, but we're gonna have to buy an adapter for this, but that's okay. A few more zip ties for cable management and they're giving you a sticker as well as some can't see what type of uh, what type of uh, what do you call those screws they are but they are pretty good here we have the cables that come in a bag which is awesome I'll show you guys all the cables here 
We won't be needing all the cables here, but I'll just put them here to show you guys what we got. So we have a four pin cable. We have the SATA. This is not the SATA. This is a type four. Oh, okay. I'll first, I'll get the actual power supply out. And uh, you guys can go back inside. I'll, I'll page you when I need you. Okay. You guys can go outside. The inputs, we have all the inputs area. I'll show you guys in this one as well if you guys like to see. Um, that's pretty general. That's pretty general for a power supply. Uh, I'll put this over here. I'm gonna have to connect it to the, um, to uh, my place over there. All right, power supply stay over there. Here you are. These are thumb screws that you can just take off easily. They're not hard. Um, Pretty simple thumb screws, to be honest. That should be right. Okay guys, I'm gonna plug the power supply in using this and if there's any static issue, I pray there not be any static issue because if there is, then we're gonna have a whole lot of issues, guys. I just realized this cable is not long enough so I might have to move my desk over there. Oh boy, so many cables around. See, these are some issues that you guys will face when you're building a PC, but it's always good to check if your computer has any static issues. So I will get that fixed quickly until then you guys can hold up and wait. This handheld because I can't risk um, getting anything wrong here. So my, my attempt here is to check if my uh, case is, uh, is free from static, uh, static electricity. So I'm gonna connect this to my connector over here. This is my old PSU cable because my new PSU is actually the Australian one over there. So it doesn't, it's not compatible unless I use an adapter and I tried finding an adapter, I can't find one that works. So I'll be trying to use this and um, hopefully it will not have any static electricity. So this is too far away. What I have to do is move the table over here. So give me a second guys, I'll be right there. As we're a little closer, all I have to do is get this uh, PC a little closer here and I am able to connect the power supply cable to the power supply. If I can just insert it there, that's about it. All that's left is me turning this on. Okay, the power supply is now on guys. All right. Basically test it out. What I did was I basically took that screwdriver and put it around the power supply, especially the metal parts to check if there's any conduction of um, electricity. And there wasn't, so I was fine, I was happy. And that's basically how you do it, guys. Yes. Yes, this case is not static. That's great news, Jesus Christ. That's great news. So what I'll be doing is I have to first tell my dad that it's not static. And he'll probably ask me to send proof. I'll send you this video. Bye.